Hello, 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 great people. Welcome back to my kitchen. And you've tuned in for another edition of Cooking with Love. And I'm Chef Green. Today, I wanna to show you how I make my sour cream pound cake. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a bun cake pan. And the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and get it sprayed so that once the cake is mixed, all we gotta do is just pour it into the bun pan and then pop it into the oven. You want to make sure you spray it really, really good. Okay, I've had my butter sitting out so that it's room temperature. And I'm going to start with that. That's the first thing that you put in. I'm using um, three sticks of unsalted butter. And one thing you want to keep in mind when making a, a pound cake, uh, you don't want to mix it for too long. And I have here three cups of sugar. We have six eggs, and I'm gonna use brown eggs. That's best for, uh, for baking a cake. And we'll add them one at a time. Just long enough, and then you go ahead and add the next one right after it, long enough to have that one incorporate and incorporate into the batter. And the reason why I crack them in, in a separate bowl because you never know if you got a bad egg and I have to replace it. But if you put it in the bowl beforehand, you see what you got before you add it to your mixture. Okay, we're gonna scrape down the sides before we add our next ingredient. This is eight ounces of sour cream. At this point, we're going to add um, baking soda, and it is one fourth teaspoon of baking soda that we are adding. Keeping the side scraped down. So that all ingredients mix together well. Flour. 
in the flour, I've already added the um, salt, which is an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Because I want to sift my salt in with my uh, flour. And this is three cups of swans down cake flour. Or you can just use plain flour. Here's where you want to put your guard on so that the flour doesn't splash all over the place. If you have them. If not, just be careful. Okay, we're almost there. I'm gonna give it one more quick mix. Okay. Now for the final touches, in terms of flavoring, the rest, this recipe calls for a teaspoon and a half of extract or flavoring. And so what I do is I add a half a teaspoon of lemon extract. A half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and finally a half a teaspoon of the almond extract You don't have to do it like that, but you can do like a teaspoon and a half of just vanilla or a teaspoon and a half of just lemon. Um, I would not advise you to do a teaspoon and a half of almond. That one, that, that particular extract is very strong. Because um, I've tried it just to see how it would work out. It's, it's pretty strong. And we'll get these mixed in. done. I'm going to pour this up and well, let me scrape this down. Okay, so I'm doing my final really good stir from the bottom up to make sure everything is nicely mixed. I used to make a lot of pound cakes. And my mother 
mother's favorite part. When she come to my house, she would be looking for the cake batter that I saved her. So I have to save her a little cake batter to the side. That's what she liked to eat. I'm not talking about, you know, looking at the bowl type of cake batter. I'd have to have her made about three, four tablespoons of cake batter saved to the side. This is what she likes. I would normally put it in the oven at 350 degrees, <clears throat> but I'm not gonna do that because you have to gauge it by the way your oven cooks. And so I'm not gonna put it in at 350. I've preheated the oven for 325. So it's gonna cook for about an hour, between an hour and an hour and a half. Well, maybe about an hour and, hour and 15 minutes. Um, but like I said, it should be baked at 350. But I'm gonna bake it at 325 because my oven cooks a little faster than normal. Um, so make sure you take that into consideration when you get ready to bake it. Okay, so that our cake is out of the oven. We cooked it for, we baked it for about um, an hour and 10 minutes at 325. Again, keep in mind the way your oven cooks. So that's why I had to do it at 325. The normal temperature to bake it is about 350. Um, here's what it looks like and what we're going to do is give it a few minutes to cool and we'll turn it out and cut us a slice. There's nothing like hot cake fresh out of the oven. We'll do that. Delicious hot cake. One of the things that I wanted to um, talk to you about briefly is when I was, you know, younger, there were a lot of things that the older generation will say when, about, you know, in terms of rules when you're baking a cake. Um, so I'll throw them at you so you know, you'll know. You have to be careful walking on the floor if the floor shakes. They say that's one of the things that will cause the cake to fall. Um, if you have the door open for a period of time, meaning the door to your house open for a period of time and the air is coming in, circulating in, that can cause the cake to fall. Um, if, this one's funny. If you're sitting with your legs gapped, that can cake, cause the cake to fall. Hey, I don't know how true this stuff is, but just, you know, Keep those rules in mind when you're baking a cake. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been another edition of Cooking with Love. Don't forget to like, su subscribe, comment, and share this video. Hit When I say like, hit that thumbs up button right down below. I'm Chef Green. Until next time, bye-bye.